All right, so that side of the table. What did you think of the game, first off? Uh, it's adorable. Like, I love, <laughs> I love this aesthetic. Like, I think it's just so, like, the artwork and the tokens. Like, I cannot get over how much I love these little interference tokens. I don't know if the, the oh, stream can look. really pick up how they look, but they're just, like, this cute little pollution cloud. Actually, it here is, we'll it do is this. Pollution. It is, there's, like, yeah, there's the pipes and then the pollution yeah. going into a skull, yeah. so it's... Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a huge theme guy, but just this feels original to go. me, and it feels like just the right sort of, you know, okay. sort of whimsical. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. The um, theme. Oh, go ahead. Like, the theme is awesome. I don't know if it's needed for this game, but it's, like, if it's, you don't feel like you're actually doing what you're doing. No, anything. mechanically there's no. But the, theme, <laughs> but the theme still is really original, so it's... It brings a nice little touch to it. Yeah. And I'm not and really the theme, huge on theme. Yeah, and the theme is what originally attracted me to it because how many sightseeing for penguin games <laughs> are there? That's so true. again, I appreciate something out of the ordinary, right? Yeah, something that, totally. that that thinks outside the box. But overall, you enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, there's a really good, like, the chaining of the dice and the ships and, like, the, the it feels generous, you know? Like, you're, it, everything's really tight because I always feel like I need more money, I need more fuel. Like, you always need more stuff, but also, mm -hmm. like, you get a bunch of stuff. So it just has this nice ebb and flow to it that feels really good. I was definitely pleasantly surprised when we but played it boom, yesterday. Boom. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> So, because uh, tell folks what you had said yesterday about uh, you had watched an uh, overview or whatnot of it. And then well, I watched an like, overview. Yeah, it was quick. And they were like, oh, it rolls. You have dice and all this. And I was like, eh. I was like, I'll play it. But I don't know how much it's actually going to appeal to appeal. you. Appeal, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we played it yesterday. And I was surprised at how much different stuff there is actually to pay attention to mm -hmm. when you're playing. Like. There's these, and then... For the, the hubs on the, the hubs. cards, There's the right? hubs on the cards that you have to connect, and then the hubs on the cards that you don't connect, and what the card actually does if you have the bottom ones, and putting it all together yeah. to make something that actually works to get you oil and money and everything that you need. Because yesterday I focused on money, so I had plenty of money, but then all the money ones are worth nothing, mm -hmm. or one or zero. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, it's definitely... I wouldn't mind having it in my collection. Okay. So the first time I heard about this was Essen. And you were reading, I think, uh, to a group of us, things on the... Uh, on my anticipation On the anticipation, yeah, 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 well, yeah, finding right. things for the anticipation level. And you're reading off about it. And when you read this one, everybody in the room was like, wait, what? Okay, I'm in, yeah. Penguins? Yeah, right. I want to go see penguins. <laughs> so, yeah, I think for this one, no, you don't feel like you're actually going on this no. sightseeing tour, but... It does draw you into the game, and then there's cute little interludes where cards come out, and you're like, oh, that's, that, I want that. That's adorable. So, and like you said, the pollution tokens, the fact that you are damaging right. the ecology, <laughs> I think that's great. So, yeah, so the theme's fun, but it doesn't really bleed through the game. Um, that said, I, I hate when people see a game with dice and say, oh, it's completely random. This is not something I'm going to like. Sorry, Chris. No, like, no, I hate it. Like, because this is I, dice drafting. Yeah, so you're, first of all, you're drafting it. So if I roll terribly, which I consistently do, you all suffer from that right, as well. Yeah. It's not just me. Um, so that doesn't feel bad at all. And plus, the way that they've balanced it, you can see the playtesting involved in this where they really made sure that, okay, well, if you get stuck with low number die, you're going to have plenty of things to do. And if you have the high there's still options as well. And then you can create this tableau that mitigates that. I did a poor job of that because I got one that gave me fuel and I really should have balanced that out more, but I saw pretty penguins and shiny <laughs> things and went for those. But there's ways to just change your strategy even during the game. You get different things um, out. I didn't know where I was going to go with it this time, but I got that ship discount. You guys were all like, oh, that's really good. I'm like, sure, we'll go for harbors and... That's a ton of points. points. Yeah. yeah, I mean that. But like the low dice are really useful mm -hmm. for here. triggering and actions. For right, getting right. the cards, you need the high dice. So right. you you need to balance both. So none of them are really bad. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you need both. You need to balance if you're getting low, because in the lows you get to pick anything from here that you need. Mm -hmm. You get to trigger these things, because these are usually lower. Some of them are a little different. But then when you're bidding, you need the high cards. So you yeah. have to know what you're doing and then draft for what you're doing the next round. Because you're like, oh, I want. 
I need more cards, or you're like, now I need low cards to start trading, because I took a bunch of ones and twos this last turn, so I could get the oils I needed right. to move this forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's always things you can do, and I think for a game that's as thinky as this, like, we, there's brain-burning moments where you're like, how do I chain this? You have to think multiple moves ahead, or what's coming up for that end round, like, mid-game scoring, mm -hmm. like, so there's lots you're trying to do at the same time. I'd worry that there'd be a huge experiential difference like but I kind of don't feel like there is because there's all these cards coming out you can look what I did over here you guys are all into the goods I was like nah no goods I'm not gonna go for the goods at all yeah and I was really worried at the end I was like that was a bad mistake why have I done such things and yet it didn't end up being the worst thing so ever. you have the three the brown one that gave you three so that's nine mm -hmm. and then you bought a bunch of harbors so that's already 19 so it's 28 yeah points right, right so right. as long as you find a yeah. path and kind of go with that you're you're okay like yeah. you can you can do different things you don't have to do what everybody else is doing and something else that one of the folks in peanut gallery had mentioned that the artwork belies the decision making that's in the game because again cute cuddly penguins oh this yeah. is great and you well there just wasn't a ton of chatter in this game as opposed to other streams that we've done just for the simple fact that i mean this is what we were yes the majority <laughs> of the game was this um and that helps people get it to the table yes on the flip side of that though it tricks people so uh, i hesitate yeah, so someone, I know. If someone yeah. buys it not knowing that it's going to be as heavy mm -hmm. they're like this right. game is awful like, right i think it mitigates that a little bit with the like the first period feels less brain burning and it's sort of like a introduction to and then it, there's a big ramp up in the second mm -hmm. period yeah. but it's like yeah. at least you're sort of you're sort of getting into it a little gently and somebody in chat asks about the so bgg andrew said uh 45 to 90 minutes is what they say, and here it is, four hours with the teach, which this seemed exceptionally long. It didn't need was, to be this long. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't, yeah. It was much faster last night when we played. So. Yeah, it was two so and a half hours with a full teach last think, night. You think that's four players? Or it could be, because every play that we've done prior to this has, has been, been three. three. So could no, three play? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think four adds that or you think much. We're just thinking too I much think time. I yeah. We I were, definitely I was thinking way more this time because I'd already yep. played it once and was trying and to when like, I played and I wanted to give I was because yesterday I didn't do that great, so I was like I need to do better because yeah. it's just something. So here's my question: myself. Is that a game thing or is that a us thing as players? Mm -hmm. Do you think today I think it was us? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. And, but I think it would get better. I know you said there wasn't much chatter, but there was still a little chatter that took us away. There was some, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The other apprehension that I have, and this might be because I feel like we're getting somewhat conditioned for variability in games. We saw every card in the game. Yeah. Except for some of the advanced cards that we didn't, like all they are is like different, uh, different set collection, different color sets of them. Plus a couple of the promos, this and that. So you're worried about variability? Because of so that? I'm wondering because you see all the cards, but then again, there are tons of different combinations that you could go with. Right. So I right. wonder whether or not that's a non-issue. And since it comes randomly, so I think it's the first one, what comes out first might dictate everything that happens after mm -hmm. that. Right. So even what you get. Yeah. Like, so you bid on things and then I end up taking something else. Sure, yeah. I could have a strategy coming into this game. And I did. And I didn't get that card. So then I had to do something else. You don't really have time because it's only those four rounds to wait something out. So you really have to get into something and that's going to change you each time. So I think it's very variable on how yeah, it's going to yeah. progress. And like I said, it was just an idea. I wanted to float the idea. Um, but overall, the production quality is really good. I'm, I'm happy with the game. I, and I had mentioned on Twitter today that I was pleasantly surprised by this because I just didn't have high expectations of mm -hmm. a game about watching penguins mm -hmm. um, from a smaller publisher, smaller, you know, newer designer, the whole nine yards. And come to find out, when I was reading the rule book, I was like, oh, there's, there's something here. And come to find out, really enjoyed it. And it wore me out, like mentally. I feel taxed. <laughs> like yeah. I, I, I put the work in on this game, even though final score didn't represent that still did um overall yeah i enjoyed it i will say so we've only played it with these advanced cards and i feel like i really wouldn't want to play it without them like i think that adds an element of 
like a goal to go for or like ending yeah. somewhere. Like they're yes. important. Mm -hmm. I really I think, like to that. the game being in there, and I feel like you would lose something by not. Having I'm not so sure about the drafting though for the second half. I don't think that I would, would try be it. I would try I it, but I don't think it's mandatory. Yeah, as, I think, is, I think the advanced cards. Right. I, I, I agree. Because I think if you start drafting, you might get into that issue where it's not Even as long. variable. Oh, well, yeah, well, because now you're going to... Because now you're going to go right. up to, You're going to pick now the cards choose. that you want. Yeah. yeah. But you are limited to the number of spots on, yeah. the, on the main board as there are players for the spots, meaning yep. these spaces out here, so these two aren't available in the four-player, right. and then these four aren't available in the... Uh, in the three-player. In the yeah. three, uh, two-player two. or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so something to think about. Um, but yeah, overall... Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, I like it. No, I like Definitely. it. Definitely. Cool. All right. So, uh... I like that Rob said, um, you see all the cards in your favorite <laughs> game through the ages. A hundred percent correct. Yep. No so. no arguments there, Rob. So, so AMR is like the box lies 45 to 90. <laughs> yeah, 45. It's fault, I think. It's really hard. But we, we added 45. some to that. 45 with two player? I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Possibly an hour. Right? Assuming no teaching and experience. 90 at 4, though? That's 90 short. at 4 ain't happening. No. I don't no, think. No, I think two short. hours. We took two hours short. yesterday, right? Two and a half. You taught us? Said. At three with players. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with a teach. But yeah. And, so we, and, we, and it moved much more briskly than it did, it did tonight. I yeah. kind of had no clue what I was doing yesterday. Just building in the it, first. But right. nonetheless, it was still, it was brisker. Yeah. Brisker? It was more brisk. Um, and it was still two hours at yeah. three players. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that said. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we enjoyed it. Hopefully, you all did. Uh, City, uh, City Low, the designer slash publisher. The Wood Games said, if you're interested in a copy of the game, to email them. I imagine if you Google the Wood Games, you'll be able to find their website. Email them through there and contact them, and hopefully, they're going to get U.S. distribution, he said. So, that said, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. It really does help you guys. And uh, if you want to go a step further, go to pledgehc.com to support the show. Also would really appreciate that. So again, I'm Edward. Jess. Andrew. Chris. I'll be back tomorrow at noon for a patron only Ask the Elephant. Other than that, we'll see you all next week, okay? Take care, everybody.